ready? Excellent. Well, evening everyone, uh, again, great to see you. We wanted to give you a bit of an update on what we feel has been happening in the last couple of weeks during this breakthrough prayer. But before we really get on to say a bit of what we think God is saying, there are a couple of things that Nick and I kind of almost personally want to say to you all, which is thank you. We are so grateful that people have signed up and it isn't just a polite thing to start with, but it's really meant. It really means a lot to us that you are trusting what God is doing at Asher Vineyard and trusting Nick and I enough um, that you are saying, yeah, yeah, no, I'm in. I definitely want to see more of God working in Ashford and I want to see, I want to see breakthrough. I long to see breakthrough. I long to see change that we all ache for. So we are really grateful. And coupled with that, I know many of you, most of you, in fact, you give. And I know you give in other ways as well and all that kind of thing. I'm talking finances into AV. That, that is, finances has been part of it. And we have some really, really generous givers in this room. And it's not about the amount, um, it's about the cost to you. And I know for some of you, you give until it hurts. And we are so grateful for that as well. Yeah. So in terms of what's God been saying over the last couple of weeks, um, it seems like it's two themes that are coming <coughs> out. Loads of you have sent us prophetic words or pictures. And we've had those externally as well from people not in Asher Vineyard. And the themes seem to be um, of provision and of God doing something new. And something that runs through the whole thing is we have felt like God is saying, do not be driven by lack. So we're having to make decisions, uh, but we've had to make decisions about what we do in this time where we need breakthrough. Um, but we feel like God has said very clearly, don't be driven by lack. And the other thing is about provision. There's been a lot of pictures and words about the provision will be abundant, the provision is coming and that actually we can trust God as a father. And it's rather than we felt right from the beginning, it wasn't gonna be, oh, in terms of the finances, someone was gonna give some big check, but instead God was gonna teach us how to trust him and treat him like a father and be able to rely on him as we learn about provision for us and for this church. But also there's something new. We've had lots of words from people around a shift, something changing, an expectancy that God's about to do something and this has been a get ready moment and that actually there's been something about everyone praying and fasting that has been a positioning of we are getting ready for the breakthrough that is coming and a positioning ourselves ready and I had a picture of this big metal dish and people stood all around the outside holding it and like this deluge of water coming down but we had to be stood in the right position and we all had to be holding it because when it fell, it was going to be heavy and we had to be able to hold it up. Um, and so it feels like a positioning thing that's going on. So provision and something new that's coming. Yeah, and I think we saw a bit of a foretaste of that for those that were here yesterday morning. Who was here yesterday morning? Yeah. Oh, you can cheer or something. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, it's not a silent video. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it, was, it was just brilliant yesterday morning. Yeah. It was so enjoyable. Yeah. And yeah. one of the biggest... Uh, Chris, Nick and I got together today as we do every Monday and we said we haven't really got time, we were doing the pig, we haven't got time to do a big debrief on yesterday but what was your favourite bit? And I said can I go first, I want to go first and I said actually my favourite bit was when we did the kind of prayer tunnel thing, um, the number of people who came through it yeah. and Nick went ah oh, that's what I was going to say and Chris went ah oh, that's what I was going to say as well, yeah. it was the highlight for us all yeah. to see so many people want to come through it and yeah. so many people who looked different by the time they reached there from when yeah, yeah. they'd started there. Yeah. It, was, it was really exciting. So we, uh, that, that's really, really, really good, exciting. Yeah. Um, so as far as where are we actually at with finances and, and what's going on, God has drawn us into a position of trust without a doubt. Um, I think, honestly, it has been the hardest time since Nick and I came here in 2010. It has been painful, um, tear-filled, um, it's, there's been carpet time, there's been angry times, there's been all kinds of times. But God just does that to draw you into a greater position of trust. And what's really good is lots of people have worked really practically and really hard with all the money. Uh, there's been so many people in the background that we're not announcing or anything about it, but honestly hours and hours have been spent. And we got yet another version of the budget through today because we keep tweaking things and changing things and we pray and we go back and then 
someone else comes and says, I'm going to give some more. And then someone else says, well, I haven't been giving for a while, but I've just realised I haven't been giving and I want to give. And, and we're getting more and more of this. So we just keep slightly adjusting the budget, slightly adjusting, slightly adjusting. And the great news is, between now and Christmas, <coughs> we are actually afloat. Which is Ooh. honestly, Ooh. you would have no idea what good news that is. Because <laughs> <laughs> at one point, at one point, Jamil, our finance manager, said, "You're spending about four grand more than you're getting in, um, or you seem to be." So that is that is honestly amazing provision, and we are we are so grateful. Things remain obviously very tight, but we feel that God is saying, "Will you trust me? You've got to trust me in this. I, I'll just lead you. It's okay." If I bail you out, like with a, get someone to give you a hundred grand, you're not going to learn the joy of what it is to walk with me as a dad. Yeah. And, and I will keep leading you. And we've said to God, do we need to make redundancies? <clears throat> and God has said, absolutely not. I am not telling you to make redundancies. You are led by the Spirit, not driven by lack. Yeah. And so I'm, I'm really pleased to be able to say it looks like at the moment that no staffing changes will need to be taken, taking place. If anything, we're looking to take someone on for slightly longer, that's another story. But the great news is, we feel God has been leading us as a father and leading us all as a father and saying, I'm just starting to give you a foretaste of what I've got for you. It really is the new wineskin being created for God to start pouring, um, pouring the new wine in. Yeah. Do, do other people feel that? Do you, yeah. do you, do you yeah. sense that kind of thing? Yeah. It's good. Anything yeah. else? No. Oh, in that case, that's it. Yeah. As long as it's supposed to be. Yeah. But thank you.